Top of the morning to you, friends. What do sports cards and collectibles have to do with mental health? A lot. Let's talk about this. Hello to all my sports card collector, investor, all of my collectibles friends. It's Monday morning. It's freezing here in Raleigh. It's, I think it's like 30 degrees or something like that. I had to turn the cars on like 15 minutes early to get everything going before driving the kids to school. Shout out to those that came up and talked to me at the Raleigh Car Show. It was a great meeting. People face-to-face, -face, in person. That's one thing that I've really enjoyed here over the last few months as things have kind of lightened up a little bit in the world, although we'll see if that continues. Also great to hang out with my buddy Chris, baseball card collector, investor, dealer. He said that he's you know, hoping to make the rounds back to the Raleigh Card Show again. I do think that he'll come back again at some point, so that was a good time. Uh, great seeing Chris. Tonight, I have got a live stream. I'm excited about this one with Carlos from YouTube channel because I'm Carlos gives a great insights on collectibles as a whole, also sports cards, whether it be newsy type stuff or also just big picture type things. I like the fact that he puts kind of a more deeper level of thought into a lot of this stuff and it's fun to kind of go back and forth. First time that I've had him on my channel, I was on his channel a few months back talking about graded video games and he will be on my channel tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time, so definitely join us for that. All right, guys, sports cards and mental health. What am I talking about? Well, let me tell a couple of stories. When I was at the Raleigh Card Show, I was talking to various dealers and I was asking them, you know, are you having a good show? And, you know, in part you would think that, like, are you selling a lot? Are you buying a lot? Are you having a good show in terms of commerce? Uh, but you know what was kind of uh, interesting was is I could tell that some of these dealers, they were doing it also and maybe in large part for the camaraderie. So it wasn't necessarily about you know, making a bunch of money selling cards at the card show. I think a lot of them were perfectly fine breaking even, maybe making a few extra dollars, but it was a fun thing for them to do on a weekend. Um, I met with one dealer and he was there with his son, a uh, really nice guy. And, you know, he was, I, you know, he said like, yeah, you know, we've sold cards, but we also just get a lot of enjoyment out of talking to customers, talking to, you know, talking sports and just also talking with other hobbyists about card stuff. And that kind of struck me. And I know that, look, when you're at the national and you're spending, you know, $5,000 a table or however much it costs, there's a lot more emphasis on selling stuff because you've got a lot of skin in the game going to a show like that. I know with, um, with this particular local show, I don't remember exactly how much it is for a table, but you know, you're talking about maybe under hundred dollars per table, um, to where you can go and enjoy yourself and, and hang out with family or, you know, you know, just kind of mingle with people, mingle with community and it doesn't set you back in a huge way. Um, so I thought that that was kind of a, a really interesting take takeaway from that show was, you know, yes, of course, you're out there to kind of, you know, buy, sell cards, but there was a lot of just emphasis on just community. And it was fun just kind of going back and forth bantering with some of these dealers. This can also help kind of give you kind of a ground level, you know, what's going on in the trenches type viewpoint, as opposed to, you know, when you're just buying and selling online or, uh, you know, watching YouTube channels or whatever it is, this gives you a different perspective, which I think is really, really important. It's helpful just to kind of get very various perspectives. I've talked about in recent videos, I'm going to have more of a focus collection, or that's the plan anyway, in 2022, meaning just for my buying behavior moving forward. And this is something that um, we're going to talk about with Carlos tonight on the live stream at 9 p.m. Eastern. So join us for that. Uh, we're going to talk more about just kind of how to do that and what are some of the goals, how do, you, how do you set goals and different things. But with that in mind, I've also just tried to enjoy what I have in my collection because I think, you know, there, there's always kind of an emphasis on what comes next and what are we looking to next. But there's also something to be said for just kind of the what do we already have and enjoying what we already have. And I think the holiday season kind of brings that out as well. It's all about family, um, you know, appreciation, gratitude for the things that we already do have. And so regardless of whether you have a million dollar collection or you have a $50 collection, you know, I think it's fun to build that collection, but also just appreciating the things that already exist, you know, and really kind of 
taking the time to thumb through those and look back at them and take enjoyment out of those, out of those items. And so when we talk about just mental health, positive attitude, a lot of my, you know, my office, my man cave, if you will, as you can see, is, you know, loaded with nostalgic type cool items for me that, that really kind of bring a smile to my face. So if I, you know, get off a bad call, I don't have, you know, I'm not having a very good day. I've got stuff around me that I, that brings me fulfillment, that brings me enjoyment. And if I never bought another card again, I would be okay. Of course, that won't be the case, but I think that you understand my point. And I think too, when we talk about, we talk a lot about pricing and there's kind of the finance aspect to sports cards and collectibles, which I just think in general is fun, regardless of whether you're actually buying or actually selling any particular card. The actual research part of pricing is fun for me. So, you know, whether or not, um, and, and like I said, whether or not I'm actually buying A, B, C card or collectible, I like to follow the trends. I like to follow the pricing in the same manner that I would other, you know, real estate, uh, stock market, you know, traditional investments. I might not necessarily be buying any, any one thing or another, but just following it is fun for me. And so that part also, I think, is kind of helpful for mental health is just the the research component and the mental game that comes with sports cards, collectibles, tracking it, following it, organizing it. This is all good mental stimulation stuff uh, that I think is that can be good. Now, of course, there's also another end of the spectrum where financially you can get yourself into trouble. You know, it's kind of there's a sports betting element to sports cards and collectibles to where if you're, you know, if you're going for quick flips, it can it can be, you know, a negative for your mental health. You know, so that's something to keep in mind too, balancing these all these things out. Because, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily always mean it's positive, but if you have kind of a controlled mindset towards this stuff, I think that it can be more good than bad and actually mostly good if you're really kind of just coming in with, with eyes wide open. Guys, thank you very much for joining me here today. And while we're in kind of the season of gratitude, the holiday season here, let me know in the comments what good do cards bring to your life, sports cards and collectibles? What's a story that you might have that, that gives you kind of a positive thought thinking about this hobby, whether it be one particular card, whether it be a community uh, event that happened or something, some good kind of feel good story. I'd like to hear that in the comments and kind of build off of that. You know, uh, as we always say, there's enough negative news out there every single day. There's enough of that. You know, why don't we bring some positivity into the world? So throw it in the comments if there's something that you would like to share. Um, and if not, that's okay too. But I thought this was kind of a fun topic to tackle. It's not talked about enough, I don't think. Just kind of the, the mental health, the positive aspects of sports cards and collectibles to mental health. All right, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.